Hi everyone, my name is Rishi and today I will be presenting work done by myself and my co-authors on how to estimate gender completeness among Wikipedia articles. This will be my agenda for today's talk. I will start by discussing the importance of our research and our key findings. Next, I will explain our research methods and data collection processes. I will then conclude by discussing the current limitations and our plans for future work. So let's get started. Our kind Wikipedia community actively contributes to Wikipedia, ensuring it remains a dynamic and evolving platform. For instance, as of 10th of June this year, the English Wikipedia hosts over 6 million articles, with approximately 14,000 new articles added each month since January. While this growth is impressive, this also presents its own set of challenges. One challenge we face is the gender imbalance in Wikipedia's articles. Taking astronaut articles as an example, of the 630 total astronauts, only 76 feature women. This results in just 12% of these articles highlighting female astronauts, while the remaining 88% focus on men, as shown in the pie chart. This imbalance can skew public perception and reduce the visibility of achievements by underrepresented genders in specific fields. Hence, addressing this issue is crucial to ensure Wikipedia remains accurate and inclusive. We attempted to address the issue with our research. Our research question was, how can we estimate the total count of entities within specific subclasses based on gender? In other words, our objective was to identify how many men and women exist within specific groups or professions such as astronauts, scientists, teachers, etc. Though we recognize that gender is not binary, we considered binary gender for easier and accurate statistical analysis. Now, let me share interesting insights from our research. On the left side of the slide, we observe that subclasses where female representation remains relatively incomplete. For example, in professions like engineering, horse training, judging, and policing, the completeness percentages range between 70% and 85%. These figures indicate significant gaps where female achievements and presence are underrepresented. On the right side, we highlight professions where female representation is more complete, close to the benchmark of 100%. Professions like scientists, economists, spies, and academics show completeness percentages between 97% and 99%. This is encouraging as it shows a near equal visibility and acknowledgement of women's contributions in these fields. Now, switching our focus to male representation, we observe a mix of completeness across various professional subclasses. On the left, we see subclasses like monarchs, judges, engineers, and business persons, where the representation completeness varies widely, ranging from low to moderate levels. For instance, monarchs and judges show significantly lower completeness percentages, indicating gaps where male contributions might be underrepresented in our data set. Conversely, on the right, we have subclasses like YouTubers, academics, chefs, and philosophers, where the representation is much more complete, with percentages nearing 100%. This, this high level of completeness suggests that male contributions in this field are well documented and prominently visible. Now, talking about our research methodology, our research follows a structured approach to measure gender representation. We first started with collecting subclasses and entities from Libipedia, which is a structured content dataset derived from Wikipedia. Since Libipedia data do not include gender information of an entity, 
we relied on an open source tool called NomQuam Gender. With this tool, we can predict gender of people from their names. I have put the link of this tool in the footnote. Then we extracted Wikipedia edits for each entity for the duration of five years, starting from 2019 to 2023. The edit history was then partitioned into small windows of seven days for granularity. For each window, we estimate gender completeness using statistical estimators and report the largest value among all windows for each estimator. While our estimators showed high convergence, there were some limitations. Talking about possible limitations, first it includes the use of the Wikipedia subclasses of the class person, which may not be comprehensive. And also we had some API related limitations in terms of data retrieval. Secondly, despite the higher convergence value, lack of ground truth made it difficult to assess accuracy of the statistical estimators. In the future, we want to focus on creating a dashboard tool to show gender completeness. This kind of tool will enable our editors to make informed decisions about new contributions. For example, pausing male astronaut articles for now to catch up with female astronaut articles. Thank you for your time and attention. I hope you like my presentation. If you want to know more about my project, please feel free to reach out to me at this email.